Welcome to the Headless Professor video series and today we are going to talk about correlation. Correlation is nothing more than the association between two variables or two measures of the same variable. Correlation is a relationship. A relationship that we want to know two things about. What is the direction of the relationship between these two variables, x and y? And what is the strength of that relationship? In other words, are there any exceptions to a trend? Let's first talk about the issue of direction of the relationship. Some correlations have what we call a direct relationship. In other words, if one variable, x, happens to be high, then the other variable, y, happens to be high. Or, if variable x happens to be low, then variable y happens to be low. In other words, these two variables move in the same direction. You can use one to predict the level of the other. We call such a correlation, a direct relationship, a positive correlation. Now, when we use the word positive, we do not mean to imply that there is anything exceptionally good about the correlation. Never call a correlation good or bad. Positive merely refers to a direct relationship. If one variable is high, so is the other. If one variable is low, so is the other. The variables move in the same direction. Similarly, a negative correlation is known as an inverse relationship. In other words, if one variable is high, the other is low, and vice versa. In other words, they are moving in the opposite direction. We use the term negative to describe an inverse relationship. Negative does not imply anything bad. We never use words like good or bad to describe a correlation. It simply means that the two variables are moving in opposite directions. We can still use our knowledge of either variable to predict the other. We just have to keep in mind that when one is high, the other is low. The other question we have about any correlation is the strength of the relationship. In other words, how many exceptions are there to the trend? Is it true in every case when one variable is high, so is the other? And when one variable is low, so is the other? If so, we would have a perfect positive correlation of 1.00. And if the correlation were in the other direction, if it were inverse, so that when one variable was high, the other was low, then we would have a perfect inverse relationship symbolized by a negative 1.00. A zero correlation means absolutely no relationship between the two variables, so that there is no way to predict a level of one variable from a knowledge of the other. In the real world, correlations are not perfect positives, perfect negatives, or zero, especially in the areas of the behavioral sciences like psychology and sociology, most of the correlations are somewhere in between. Correlations that are close to being perfect are called high or strong. In other words, they have very few exceptions to the direct or inverse trend. Correlations that are close to zero with only a very weak or low trend would be those that have many exceptions to the trend. Many correlations are also in the moderate range. We use numbers between 0 and 1 
to represent the strength of these correlation coefficients, whether negative or positive. So when we are close to zero, say between zero and 0.2, we speak of this as a low or weak correlation. We never use the term poor or bad. Correlations are not good or bad. When we are above 0.6, between 0.6 and 1, positive or negative, we speak of this as a high or strong correlation. We don't call it a good correlation or an excellent correlation because we don't use words like good or bad to describe correlations. When we calculate a correlation coefficient, here symbolized by the letter R, we get a decimal number, usually rounded off to the hundredths place. We're going to look at two different things at this correlation coefficient. We're going to look at the little sign in front of the decimal point, and we're going to look at the digit immediately to the right of the decimal point. These two indicators are going to tell us the direction of the correlation and its strength. The positive or negative sign tells us if the correlation is direct or inverse. If the correlation does not have a positive or negative sign, we will assume that it is a positive direct relationship. Then we cast our attention immediately to the right of the decimal point and look at the digit that's there in the tenths place. This represents the strength of the correlation. If that digit is zero, one or two, we would say that we have a correlation that is pretty low, perhaps just getting into the moderate range around 0.2. If we see a two, three, four, or five in the tenths place, then we have a correlation that is in the moderate range. In other words, there's still quite a few exceptions to the trend. It is only when we see that we have a 6, 7, 8, or 9 in the tenths place that we can say that we really have a strong correlation coefficient. Now, even when we have a strong correlation, even when we have a perfect correlation of 1 or negative 1, do not assume that the correlation of two variables, x and y, necessarily means that variable x is the cause of variable y. In order to infer causation from correlation, we have a number of other steps that we are going to have to go through.